Hello, Boys and Girls Club members. Thank you for meeting with me again today on the YouTube for another art project. So today, I've got a couple of small things that you can make pretty quick with things just randomly around your house. Now, I know that everybody's parents probably, or uh, parents, grandparents, somebody has, you know, coffee sitting around. An empty container and a lid. So the first thing we're going to make is, well, a thing to catch fish. When you're out at the creek with your family or just out and about. Out. So what you'll need is, of course, the actual coffee container, string, and some form of cutting knife. A knife or scissors, just something, you know, you can use poke holes. It's pretty simple. So what you'll do is that you'll take your cutting item. I'm going to use um, a razor knife for this one, just like I did in the last video. And you're going to want to take and poke holes in different spots at the bottom of this. So when you do that, make sure you go all the way through it. So sometimes these are going to be a little tough to get. If they are, it's okay. Because, as we all know, these things are pretty thick. Now, you don't want to cut anything that's too big, too big of holes. Because if you do, the fish are just going to go right out. So what you're going to want to do is just make a little triangle when you're cutting the holes in it. That way, it's just big enough for water to come out of. Now, for any reason, say your cutting item is not really, you know, cutting it, you can take a pen or a pencil and just stick it in the hole you've made and just pop it on the top a couple times, circle it around in there to where it makes just an itty bitty hole. Now, you don't need to do a lot for these. Oh, there goes my piece came out. Uh, a lot of these, just enough so that water can flow through it freely. Now, for this one, I'm going to just make small X's throughout it by putting a hole in one way working my tool out. Like so. So, it may be a little difficult because something that you have to know is that these coffee containers are really thick in the bottom. That's why you usually will need a pen or a pencil or something of like that like that. Now make sure to do it evenly though across the entire container. Because when you do, that allows water to flow free freely. Alright, so for the sake of it, oh, Wilson off. Oh, there we go. For the sake of it, I'm just going to do a, about four different spots. You might want to do about eight, anywhere between eight and ten. And like I said, just put your pen through. I'll go it around in there. Or your scissors. Scissors work too. You can use it this the exact same way. Now, once you've got all of your holes in the bottom of it, you can take it, put it around like that, and you're going to want to cut another hole in two opposite sides. So, 
So when you do that, you're going to want to make, again, an X or a triangle, depending on what you're trying to do. Just like that. Make sure it's completely on the opposite side. What that means is that when you take it, make sure it goes completely across. Do the same thing the other side. Put a hole in it. All right. So, after you've done that, you take your string. For the sake of this one, I've got a pretty long string. I'll just keep knocking off Wilson, don't I? <laughs> so, a good way to filter through is to take your string, like so, fold it in half like that, and twist it together. And then you're going to want to take your cutting utensil, and use it to push your string through. Now, sometimes you may not have a big enough hole for this. That is okay. All you have to do is stick it right back through. So, once you got it like this, I've got it through it. Just take it, tie it in a knot. And see, there we go. Not on that side. Now, like I said, you may not have a big enough hole on the other side. If you don't, it's okay. Just make it a little bigger if you need to. Just don't make it any bigger than a pinhead. Okay, and again, you'll take it, fold your string, like so. Twist it. Put it against the hole that you've made, and if it doesn't slide directly through, that's like again, I said, that's okay. Just take your pin, your pin head, and push it right through there to one point you can just grab it on the other end and pull it right through. So then you've got the other side. And again, you just tie it in a knot. that. So what you're going to do with this is that you're going to take it, drop it in the water, with the water flowing into it downstream, and what's going to happen is the water is going to flow out of all the holes in the back. But whatever flows into it that's bigger than those holes won't go through. And you'll be catching little, either little fish, crawdads, Anything that you really want to catch with that. And then once you've caught them, you just scoop it up, take it, lay it down, take your lid, put it on top, and now you've got what you've caught. Right, that's the first project. Probably the easiest. For this next one, though, this one's for at home. I went ahead and made one ahead of time so you could see what it looks like. It doesn't look pretty, but I haven't decorated it. You're probably wondering what this is. Well, again, it can be used as a toy. You roll around with family, little kids that you've got at the house. Or you can take it, place it, and use it as a little stand to put your plate, plates in for food. This one's also pretty simple. All you need for this is two paper plates and three of the same size toilet paper roll. Simple, right? So, I'm going to move my camera down so you can see what I'm doing. You take your first plate, set it down, 
upside down. And you'll take each of your toilet paper rolls and try to place them in such a way that they're evened out. Think of uh, two eyes and a mouth, kind of like that. So, for this, I'm going to use hot glue. You can use anything that you want. Regular glue works fine, but for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and use this hot glue gun. Right? So what you'll do is you'll take it, place them all like that, place the other plate, not upside down, but regular, on top. You may wonder why you do this. Well, because when you do this, you're testing it to see if it's even. And if you don't have any way to test it or you don't can't really tell, take a paper towel roll or just a ruler or anything that you've got sitting around your house and push up against the side. If both sides touch, it's even, it's not leaning all the way around, then it's, then it's good. So for this one, looks like we're good. All right. I'm going to scoot it over. There we go. And, yeah, we're good. Okay. Then you'll take your glue while pressing down on the top. So you can make sure it stays in place. And put a couple little dots against the plate and the toilet paper roll. Not much, just enough to where it can dry and hold its place while you work on the rest of them. Go. There you go. Go. You can do the same thing for the top, too. Just a couple little dots on each of them. There we go. Now, you can do it one at a time. But for the sake of this, I'm going to go ahead and do both at the same time. If you've never done this before, I recommend only doing one side at a time until you get the hang of it. All right, there we go. We'll just give it a second to dry, pulling away all the little hot glue strings that have attached to it. Now, you can blow on it if you want to speed it up drying. Although your best thing that you can do for it is just to let it sit, let it dry on its own. Right? Another good thing about putting small dots is that they dry twice as quickly. Alright. See? Looks like we've got it all the way around. Glue is slowly drying. Already dry in some spots. Now, what you'll do next, you'll just take it, set it on its side, make sure it rolls. Looks like it does. Once it's good on both sides, flip it over and just make sure that you put a little bit more around it. That way it'll hold in place. You can use tape for this, although I can tell you that if you use tape to hold these in place, it will not be as sturdy as if you use glue. All right, there's that. All right, there's that. And then, there you are. You've got a little tape, a little stand to put food in. If you, if it's already dirty on one side, you can flip it over, use the other one, and then throw it away. Or you can take it, another plate, set it on top. Take you some food out and just fill it full and go at it. That's it. Now, and once you're done, take it off. Boom, throw it away. You've got the rest of this. Do it as you please. Roll with it, play with it, do whatever you want. Now, I think that's all I've got today. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Try to stay safe, wash your hands, and, you know, enjoy some of the artwork. Bye, you guys.